Hey guys, I'm Lily O'Reilly and this is Lily O'Reilly Reviews and today we're going to be exploring the August edition of the Bone Box from Skulls Unlimited. Let's get to it, huh? Okay, so Skulls Unlimited is a company that is, from their website, committed to providing legally and ethically obtained natural bone osteological specimens as well as the finest replica specimens to the educational, medical, and research communities. Sounds like something you'd be on board with, right? They do a lot of buying skulls from private sellers, and as far as I can tell, they actually have some fairly good ethical standards in place in terms of making sure that the skulls you get weren't poached, otherwise illegally or unethically harvested. So I'm comfortable saying that I'm cool with receiving their specimens for my collection. So, Bone Box, August edition. I am super excited. So you might have seen my video from last month where I got the July edition and just kind of very politely lost my shit. So let's see what's in this one. As always, they come in their little Welcome to the Skeleton Crew box, which I think is adorable. You get the shoot and share. Basically what they're saying is if you take pictures of their stuff, put it on social media, you can win a box. It's nifty. Everything is wrapped in white paper. So. First up, we have a horned sea star. It's a cute little, because they always add in a little secondary thing in addition to your skull. Sea stars are more commonly known as the starfish. The name sea star is more appropriate because sea stars are not fish and they are actually invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals without an internal skeleton. While some species of sea star can have up to 40 arms, the horned sea star has five. On their dorsal, top side, they use cryptic coloration by displaying darkened points and bright colors to appear dangerous and frighten predators. And each item comes with a little paragraph that I just read to you to give you context on the item you've received. So that one was cool. Next, you get the skull, which comes with a little sheet to tell you what it is. So. This month, the bone box gives you the Virginia possum, which is native to all of the like Midwestern and Eastern US. The opossum is an opportunistic omnivore and the only native marsupial to the United States. Take a look at those teeth. The possum possesses more teeth than any other terrestrial mammal in North America. It may be hard to believe, but the opossum's large canines are rarely used in killing prey. Instead, they are more often used to intimidate potential threats. The possum is also unique due to each rear foot having a clawless opposable toe. This adaptation helps the possum climb thin branches, much like some primates. The possum is a very primitive mammal, and most scientists believe it coexisted with dinosaurs. So that's the little info sheet. It includes a picture of a possum, the range, and a photo of the skull we're going to get. So. In here is the skull, which may or may not have lost a tooth because I saw something rattling around in there. All right, so, huh, there's definitely a little piece of some kind of bone that came loose. It looks like just a little bit of sheeting as sometimes happens with skulls. So. Sorry, squeaky chair. I know I need to get a new one. So here is your possum skull. Unlike a lot of other places, they don't hot glue or rubber band the jaws together when they ship them, which is occasionally a little bit frustrating for me because I'm very used to my specimens having hot glue here and here to hold the back of the jaw together. So I'll always pick it up with the top jaw and it tries to fall apart. But anyway, this is your possum skull. It's very beautifully cleaned. It's incredibly well done. And I always thought this sticking the hand behind the thing was dumb. 
And then I realized why everybody does it. It's because nobody's camera's autofocus worth a damn. But because they didn't glue it, you can actually open it. And you can get a beautiful look at the lower jaw here. Just the, the teeth on this thing are amazing. I absolutely adore these. It looks like there's some discoloration on the teeth that are closest to y'all with the camera right there. Kind of makes me wonder if it had some sort of rot issue before it died. But especially in the front, those tiny, tiny little teeth up there. I don't know. I just find it fascinating. And then the upper jaw. Ah, I found it. I figured out where the flange lost. So if you look right there, you see that very delicate bone flange? It's missing from this side, so it must have gotten chipped off during transport. But again, it's incredibly well cleaned, it's very well maintained, it's a beautiful possum skull. I really love this. Possums are... I mean, how can you not love possums? They're these adorable little chunky babies. And they get so freaked out that they have panic attacks and faint because they're not playing dead intentionally. They just, <laughs> and then they fall over and they eat all the ticks out of your backyard and they keep rotting stuff from sitting around and making the world worse. Like possums are just amazing. I could talk about them for ages, but this is a very marvelously well done skull. I'm suitably impressed and this is one that I'm really looking forward to putting up in a display box. So each display skull also comes with a little tag telling you what it is, tells you a little bit about the company and a little bit about the animal. All very cool. Now I get the job of trying to figure out how to put this delicate baby back in its bag. But yeah, that is the American Possum, which I'm super excited to have gotten in this month's bone box. And as always, if you like what I'm doing or you find me interesting, like, subscribe, throw me a couple bucks in Ko-Fi, and yeah, thanks for being here and thanks for being interested in listening to me prattle on about bones, because I appreciate you and this is awesome. So, till later. Bye guys.